I've all. I've, <laughs> I am time to end. <laughs> the studio is ready. The lighting crew is here. We're all ready to start filming for you. Is everyone in their position ready to go? <laughs> Does my hair look okay? Oh my. She's taking selfies. Hey guys, welcome back. <sighs> There's a piece of dust right in my face. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic, I wanna to talk about home birth and why it's so great. So the home birth community gets a bad reputation. Why? Because they think being outside of a hospital is not safe. You need to be in the hospital in order to have a safe birth. To me, birth is not an emergency, something natural that happens, but I do understand that there are emergencies that come up. And yes, the hospital is always there. But if you have a qualified midwife, they are equipped to handle any situation except a C-section. Reason number one why I like home birth is it's in the comfort of your own home. You can wear slippers, socks, no shoes, whatever. Go around your home, be comfortable. You know the spaces in your home. You don't have to be in a hospital. You don't have to be cold. You can figure out what you need to make yourself comfortable. Two, and I think this, this point is pretty clear. Midwives rock. They help to bring your baby into this world and they do a lot and I don't think they get enough credit for what they do. Midwives are not only your doctor or your care provider, but they're also a friend. My midwife, I have a personal relationship with her. I can text her, call her any with anything that I need. And I think that is really important when you're about to have a baby. The next thing on my list is if you want to have a water birth, you can certainly have one at home. I know most hospitals do not allow water birth. You can labor in water, but you are not allowed to give birth in water. So at home, you have the freedom to make that decision. If you are in your own home, it's a cleaner environment. Naturally, it's your space. You clean it the way you like it. To me, hospitals, they're not dirty, but it's a place where sick people go. Personally, that's just my opinion. I'm not downing any woman who gives birth in a hospital. It's just my personal preference. The next thing on my list is if you're giving birth at home and a complication were to arise, there's always a hospital available to go to. I feel like a lot of people say that if you give birth at home, you're not gonna have time to get to a hospital if something goes wrong. But I know that there have been women who needed to either for a C-section or some other complication, and they were able to get to the hospital in time and it was never an issue. The hospital is there if you need it. By giving birth at home, you do not feel pressure to have to circumcise your child. And that's a weird topic and we're not gonna get into that, but you're not pressured, whereas in a hospital, the pressure is kind of there. You also don't have to feel pressure to get a social security number right away. You don't have to feel pressure to uh, vaccinate your child if you give birth at home. Whereas in a hospital, I feel like that's all standard procedure. And most people, these things happen without you even thinking about it or realizing it. So I think that's an advantage to giving birth at home. Another thing on my list would be that midwives are equipped with everything they need for an emergency. If an emergency were to arise, I gave birth one time and my child needed oxygen. My midwife was right there, ready to go. No hesitation, she knew what she was doing, and everything turned out fine. And I guess the last thing on my list here is that if you choose a home birth, you're in the comfort of your own home. So when you're, once you give birth, you get to lay in your bed and cuddle next to your baby right away. You don't have to get the baby in the car seat to drive home, and I just think it's a great experience overall. And I wish more women would just consider it. Maybe just do research on it. Talk to other women who have given birth at home. Get their opinion and experience. And talk to midwives, because I think they're great and they're very knowledgeable. Well guys, that concludes today's video on reasons to have a home birth. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it'll help you make a decision down the road to either consider home birth or encourage you to have a home birth or just Get some more information about it. There's so much out there. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week in a brand new video. Don't forget to like this video, share with someone who's maybe considering home birth, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.